Hello guys, and uh, let's get it going. The top three Orient dress watches. And number one pick for me is the Orient Sun and Moon. This watch is completely stunning with that dial layout, the thin Roman numerals in white. And we do have the slight moon phase. It's not a real complete moon phase. Obviously at this price point, you're not gonna get that. But it is a fully uh, in-house automatic uh, Japanese movement. It's cased in a 42.5 millimeter with a, I believe, a 15 millimeter thickness. We do also have a functioning day of the week on the right side. As you see, you can see that sun and moon indicator, which is pretty nice looking. And at this price point, it's hard to find something like that. This watch is relatively cheap for what you're getting. It's, um, I believe this watch was a hundred and no, $280. $280 on Amazon, I found this one. Comes on a deploying clasp, uh, attached to a genuine leather band, and it does also have an exhibition case back. The crystal is a not a genuine sapphire crystal, but kind of something close to that. And uh, yeah, I think it's a great pick, and you're not going to get this luxurious look for uh, this price from any other brand out there. Definitely a great watch, and a great looking watch with that stunning dial. Just look at that. Definitely a winner here. Alright, let's get on to the next one. And my next pick is the Orient Monarch, coming in at $162, well below the $300 uh, price point that I'm talking about, but I believe it should be in here. It is a, definitely a great looking watch. It has a stunning dial. We have the power indicator below the 12 o'clock position. It's using a manual wound movement. If you haven't seen my other video, I described manual wound versus automatic movements. I'll leave a link in the description about that. You can see it has an exhibition case back. Not all that much finish, the movement, but it's definitely a pretty, uh, pretty uh, reliable movement. Orient definitely makes great movements. The power reserve is set at 40 hours. It's housed in a 40 millimeter case, perfect to go under a dress cuff. It's 13 millimeters thick, so it definitely slips under there nicely. We do kind of have an onion style crown, and I think it, it's a nice little touch there. This watch definitely looks like it should cost a lot more money than it is. Now my last pick, and one of my favorite Orient watches, is the Orient Bambino. Most of you know this watch. It's the classic dress watch on a budget. It comes in at $310, a little bit over $300, but it's definitely worth it. It definitely has that amazing blue sunburst dial, which you see shining so brightly. In the sun, it's even better than that. Now there are slight differences between the Orient uh, different versions compared to the previous three and the two. Um, the newer versions are a little bigger at 42 millimeters compared to the prior versions at 40.5 millimeters. So it's kind of keeping up with the times, as people do like a little bigger watches nowadays. The signature domed crystal is definitely still there, and of course this model has hand winding and hacking. And the straps also are genuine leather, of course, in that beautiful black leather. And the case is nicely done. The, um, I believe they changed something with the hands also. The hour markers on the V4 are rounded and uh, diamond shaped, and the hands are also a lot thinner. Um, so that's a nice little touch also. Also, the seconds hand has been partially dipped with a red accent. And as I said, the sunburst dial colors are definitely striking to the eye. Definitely going to catch some uh, eyes with this one. <laughs> definitely a great piece here. Hope you guys enjoyed this short little video on the top three Orient dress watches under $300. You can find all the links uh, to these watches on Amazon in the description below. And also, I made a watch store on Amazon where I handpicked all the watches that I think are worth the value. Uh, different watch straps, boxes, winders. You can check that out. All the links for the Amazon stuff will be in the description below for all of these watches, USA, Canada, and the UK. I got you all covered. Thanks, guys.